Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. Now, the Taiwan server recently just went through a maintenance from all of the things that had been updated. One of it is the level 120 equipment set effect. Now, previously, if you had watched the level 120 Umbala equipment video that I made, I mentioned that the white equipment do not have the set effect like its previous version. So this video is an extension of that video. In this video, Video, I'm going to show you the level 120 white equipment set effect and not only that we are also going to see what other things that have been updated in this maintenance and what are the Taiwan server is up to nowadays Alright, if you want to know all of the Umbala level 120 equipment, you can watch this video that I made previously. I'll link the video at the comment section below. Now let's get into it. The level 120 white equipment set effect is called Underworld Mist. After dealing damage with a basic attack, generates a 3 meters area of Underworld Mist under the target. Lasts for 6 seconds and generates 1 mist for every 6 seconds at the stack of Underworld Underworld Blessing effect to the caster every 2 seconds. Every stack increase basic attack by 5% plus 1% times improved level and hit rate by 2% plus 0.5% times improved level. Last for 3 seconds and can be stacked up to 10 times to a total of 50% basic attack and 20% hit rate. This is insane. Now I'm not sure what it means by improved level. I guess it means the equipment tier upgrade. Now that's not all. Equipped with 6 and 8 set of equipment will increase the effect even more. Equipped with 6 equipment give 10% basic attack. Effect stack 10 times will give 100% basic attack. Equipped with 8 equipment give 15% basic attack. Effect stack to 10 times give a whooping 150% basic attack. This is crazy. Now it makes sense why the level 120 white talisman have the same stat with the level 70 white talisman. If you equip another two level 120 white accessories, your build will be similar to the blue equipment players. Now isn't this the new blue? You can say, yeah, but the blue equipment refined level have 50% higher stat than the white. The blue will always be better than white, yada yada yada. Shut up! And bam, the game give you this ridiculous sad effect. 50%, 100%, and 150% increased basic attack. On top of that, you can increase the effect even higher by upgrading its tier. That is sick. This elevates the white equipment to be on par with the blue equipment. Now, I'm going to say this to your face. White is the new blue. Nope, yeah, you might be right. White is not the new blue. The white is better than blue, period. I'm not triggered, you are. Okay, now I have few theories as to why suddenly the game developer give this outrageous start to the white equipment. And you probably already see it coming. One of it is, it seems that the game are trying to give more values to the majority of the players. By majority, I mean players that do not use the gold equipment. Players that stay on white equipment like me. In other words, the free to play players. I don't want to speculate, but I think players can see the trend themselves. Players are quitting the game one by one. The game RNG is getting nuts at higher level. The success rate is so low. The big wells are pushed to use more and more money to have better start. The small well and mid spender cannot keep up with the game development because now they need to spend more than what they are willing to invest. All this pressure leads to frustrations, disappointment, anger and so on. Won. The game do not want to lose more players, as simple as that. At least that is what I think. You can already see the declining of the ROS community in Taiwan server. The maintenance this time also includes server merge. Now server merge is not new, they had merged servers before. We the SAS server also had gone through similar thing. This time they merged not 2, not 3, but 4 sub servers. 
into three groups and two of these groups are arranged together in the same main server you see how they want to keep the servers alive this is also to make the server exchange center more active and can support the in-game economy now moving on what are the taiwan server up to nowadays the taiwan server will be having their war of the chosen woc season 2 soon the woc season 2 in sas server on the other hand had already finished like couple of months ago and actually are planning for a season 3 no date mentioned yet but i guess it will be next year 2023 the last quarter of this year 2022 we already have sort of a predetermined events if you are wondering i am quite certain that we're going to have the halloween event for october loy kratong festival event for november and christmas event for december just like last year and taiwan server will be celebrating their second anniversary for rx this october that will be exciting to watch for and i will be keeping an eye on what event they will have all right that's it for this video this time video shout out goes to thank you for always supporting me and this channel if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever i upload a new video that's it for now i'll see you on the next video and as always happy playing bye bye However, if you tell me where the magic doll is... No! Never! You sound confident, old man. Well, all that's left is to ask you to die. Adventurer, you'd be wise to mind your own business. Otherwise, I'll have to deal with you. Oh, 